Max, the apparent reality of multiple universes through all different levels, as you have famously said, seems to make reality much more complex. Uh, is that right? I think it's the other way around, yeah. actually. Many people say they don't like a larger reality because it seems much more complicated to postulate that there are these things that exist right. that you can't see. People like simplicity as, uh, as, as having exi more, more natural existence than complexity. Yes. However, I think it's exactly backwards. Okay. For example, look at this world. It seems like we need so much information to describe it. Mm -hmm. What, for example, I, you learn in school that there are eight planets. Well, that number eight, does that really tell us anything about reality? We might have thought so in the past, but now we know there are all these other solar systems with nine planets, with one planet, with three planets. So the number eight only is simply part of our address in space. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the same way, I have um, in our living room a picture of the 50 megapixel baby pictures of our universe from the Planck satellite. Mm -hmm. you know, that's a lot of information. But that also is not telling us anything at all about reality, because if you were to go and build such a satellite and photograph from a different vantage point in space, you would get a different map. And you'll get any possible map <laughs> from various places. So that also is not telling us anything basic about reality, those 50 megabytes. It's just part of our cosmic address. If I wanted to tell the intergalactic mailman, you know, where to deliver a letter to me, I might say, well, you know, you go to that place where the micro background images look like this. And he's not, he's like, oh yeah, I, I know where that is. And then you go there and there and there and you go to that solar system there, you know, the one with eight planets. So, yeah. Oh, now I know where you live. Yes. <laughs> and then you tell him what city and street and so on all the way down. So what's left then to describe reality? Uh, you might think you, you need to know all these basic constants of physics, at least. For example, we've measured that the proton is 1,836 times heavier than the electron. So if I want to wear a t-shirt like my students at MIT like to do with equations, describe everything, should it say 1,836 on there somewhere? Yeah. Well, maybe not, because in the level 2 multiverse, those numbers also vary from place to place and also then just become part of our zip code in the cosmos, effectively. You'd say, oh yeah, we're in that part of space where the proton is 1,836 times heavier than an electron. Oh, I know where that is, says the mailman. So what and you're saying, in a sense, is that if there were uh, one universe, you'd have to describe all these reasons for all the different characteristics, or if there were 847, you'd have to describe each one. But if you have uh, every possible universe, or an infinite number of universes, you just have to say, very simple, do everything. Exactly. <laughs> so all you would have to put on this t-shirt then might be the equations of string theory or loop quantum gravity or whatever the theory is that describes the whole totality yeah. of, right. of, of this level 2 multiverse. But do you even need that? <laughs> well, if the level 4 multiverse exists, then there's another universe... Which is mathematical. Yeah, mathematical it's just mathematical. Structures. For each mathematical structure, string theory is just one of them. Okay. So specifying string theory, again, is just telling you what your address is in this even bigger reality. Okay. But if the ultimate multiverse, the level 4 multiverse exists, you don't even have to put that. You could just wear a black <laughs> t-shirt with nothing. Because even uh, string theory is just telling that's one mathematical structure out of others. And all this complexity that we see around us in our world isn't telling us, telling us anything about reality, it's telling us something about us, about where we are, what our address is in this grand cosmos. So the complexity is really in the mind of the beholder.